Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> a dick is a dick is a dick. <laughs> is there something we should go talk no, about? Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back, gay schools and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror, Horror Bandwagon. Bandwagon. <laughs> And Mr. Gio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? and sometimes kooky entertainment. And welcome back to another Yellow Jackets reaction. Today, we are going to be reacting to episode three. Now, where did we leave off last time? We left off finding out that after the plane had crashed, Misty actually deactivated the flight recorder that was potentially telling everybody where they were. So I don't know what this show has in store for us because already in episode two, just episode two, we're already not thinking of what was in the pilot episode, but a whole different story. Mm -hmm. But we are not gonna make you wait any longer. So before we get into it, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Also, if you wanna support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon. And don't forget to join us on Discord to talk all about what we're talking about in this episode. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, we get an opening credit? Oh, this is giving me like music that I hear over at Party City during Halloween and you're picking your costume. Mm -hmm. I hope they're not like giving away a lot in this in this opener. Before we took off, I heard Rachel say that she was going to see Oasis at the Meadowlands next month. Oh, they're having a ceremony for who they lost. You just moved up from JV, so we didn't really know you. Oh. But intrigue. This does not seem like the the time to laugh at something. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. But they had a grave marker for Coach Scott's leg. Reunite me with your love. Send me. Oh, we're going way back for Thaisa. Mm -hmm. To him. To heaven. With the angels? Oh, they're so sweet and heartbreaking. Mm hmm But has she been honest about how? The only real way is by cannibalizing your tax <gasps> dollars. Paid for by Phil No, they did not. Oh, that means the rumors are like fucking real, right? Maybe. People are talking about this. I bet if I dug around in his past, I'd find his family owned a slave or two. <gasps> Put that in an ad. Shit. It's for change. Appealing to voters' rage and fear was never part of the plan, so why are you letting this guy change that? I'm just gonna say this. This is a beautiful couple. Mm -hmm. Like, they're gorgeous. Good for your blood pressure. Do you want some? Oh, no thanks. I like my blood pressure high. I you want your heart rate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. I really can't. My boys need me at the store today. Should have told me yesterday. I kind of feel like she's giving him a chance to be like, be there or else I'm going to fuck. It's like, <laughs> well, because, I need you to be there. Well, because the text message was from Bianca saying, are you usual spot at four tomorrow? Yeah. And that's oh, why she's like, and she's do you think you can me you're right. around four? You're right. You're right. And then there was hiking guy and he seemed pretty normal. But afterwards he asked me for my socks. <laughs> 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 oh, poor sweet baby girl. Are you dating anyone? How long till uh, we get to Travis? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, help me right now. <laughs> See, this isn't fair. They chose. Also. Yep. Cats. <laughs> yes. This isn't fair because they chose like such a likable actress to play misty yeah. and she's talking out of the park i just want her to keep talking oh the look back i swear do it snoop around snoop around what's in there girl i mean little figurines 
A rabbit's foot. Basic misty stuff. <sighs> so you were fucking right. You were fucking right. And you know she put it in there. So now we find purpose? it. You know she did. But Missy, why would she want to do that? Misty's that bitch that fucks with your head. Hey, Travis, what are you doing? Uh, what the hell? Maybe you didn't notice, but we're kind of in a situation here. Fla yeah, are you kidding me? Who died and made him king of snacks? His dad, Lottie. Literally his fucking... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Look at me. I'm being a dick, being like, you gotta share. But that is the first sign of, like, chaos to come. They're all gonna crumble and be like, fuck you guys. I mean, it has been three days. They're coming. Do you think you would stay and camp out? Or figure out a way of like, let's trap. But they have somebody with a with no leg. So they can't really travel. So here's what I would do. I would make some shelters, get everybody situated. Mm -hmm. Then send a couple people who are able to travel to go out. Ideally to find high ground first to be able to locate where they are. Yeah. When someone comes back. And... The high ground will also let you see if there's anything nearby. Yeah, because right now they really, really don't know what's going on or what's around them. Huh? Yeah. It's just, I think her positivity is a little alarming. I don't know why. <gasps> Wait, what? I, I forgot what medication that was. It, it's an, I don't think we've ever seen. Cause I look every time it comes out to see if I can like see what the oh they just know that she's on it on pills that most likely she really needs yeah and well she's taking them secretly so it's something she doesn't want to talk about oh no if they knew where we were they would be here already you don't know that I need to have a mixture of realism but also like let's not freak out all in favor of waiting here. First signs, it's gonna crumble. They're putting two people against each other. They're yep. gonna create like different groups. Oh, girl. Oh, immediately. Feelings are gonna be hurt. We last heard this in Strangers Pray at Night. Mm -hmm. We did a reaction to that. Go check we it out. Did. Oh, she's spying on him. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Girl, make your... You <gasps> should put sunglasses. He has a little present. Who's he taking presents to? I know. What is it? A thong? Oh, shoot. We're along for the ride. Okay, I wish I had popcorn. <laughs> okay, good. Don't follow him into it. Let me guess. It's a hotel. Yep. What's that smell? I don't know. Oh, oh. Oh, God, I'm gonna puke. Animal guts. Whoa. I mean, it's the wildlife, right? Mm -hmm. Circle of life. A wolf, probably. Okay. We don't need close ups. Bear? Yeah. Wolves can kill anything if the pack's big enough. Oh, poor bear. <laughs> like, smell it. Ugh. I do like that they, they found a way to carry him around, though. Mm -hmm. hey, book deals? You want me busting kneecaps? It's gonna cost extra. Just hurry up and try the rest. Phil's ad. So she is trying to figure out who is talking by going around and sending this woman to be like, you know, trying to offer them book deals or whatever. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so Taisa is the one behind the reporter going around. Yo. Sammy, did you do this? Yes. Honey, I'm so sorry. I guess they were playing rough and my son's elbow whacked him in the face. So. Oh, girl, she said he did it. Like, cannonball. Oh, he probably heard his parents talking about Beth or said, Mommy, this could be our new normal if I don't. Oh, so he was trying to protect his mom. Our son just assaulted another child, and you're talking strategy? No bueno. No. You don't hit people no matter what they say to you. Be quiet. 
What did you just say? Girl, I'd be like, go to your room. No TV. Give him back. Oh my God, demon child. Go to your room, Sammy. There you go. Go. Uh-uh, those are death eyes. Like, that child is planning to kill you. <laughs> or maybe you saw a mirage. Oh, shit. Maybe a mirage. Oh, hell yeah, princess! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> We made it to water, and this, they can they can shelter here, right? This seems pretty good. It is a little out in the open. Yeah, I would go back into the tree line a little bit, but at least I can like shower. Yes. Guys, come in! It feels fucking great. Okay, what bomb are you gonna drop on us, show? Oh fuck! It's freezing. <laughs> I'm so interested to see what happened to Travis because I feel like Travis and Natalie are going to get along. Mm -hmm. In the last episode, Travis feels like he can't talk to her. It's been three days. You guys can't be that desperate. Oh. Oh. Girl, a dick is a dick is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't follow that motto, please. To the sticks, he changed his name. It's got Unabomber written all over it. Yeah, this seems uh, like he has a bunker. I don't see a car. We could go back into town, check it out, get some wings. No, she's going to break the window. <laughs> there you Poor go. That word. Have you broken into things before? No, What's I going just... going on? If you're going to start wrapping your leather jacket around your arm when there's a giant window in front of you, I'm going to guess you're going to break the window. Lives like a hermit. We see this kind of thing all the time. Aren't you a nurse? It is common knowledge. I kind of feel like she knows this outline of this house. She knows more than she's saying. Oh, what's wrong, Natalie? Tell us. Tell us everything you know in this episode right now. He didn't... No, no. Oh. I thought he might have done something to himself. What? Oh! <gasps> oh! Okay, wait, 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 wait! Hold up! Wait a minute. So, they've been they they've seen each other before recently. Yes. Got it. But now she's seen things. So does she know where he is? I don't know. Oh shit. <laughs> That girl poured water on my hair, Coach wouldn't be the only one missing a limb. <laughs> Fair girl. Fair. You know then one of them just gets sucked under the water. I know, Cthulhu is just like in the distance. <laughs> so much fun. Now that we've found the lake and like now that we've been bonding, I think it's just <laughs> Right? Right? Yeah. Oh my god, no bottle it's expensive taste for someone who's barely making minimum wage oh, who called the cops what the fuck is going on freeze uh, uh, what'd you put in her in her pocket we're just visiting an old friend such an old friend you had to bust his window on your knees now just say we didn't do it that wasn't us Lady, I swear. Not on the reservation. Um, I'm his wife. He just hasn't texted me the room number yet, so just. Working at a hotel before, this conversation has been brought up. Has it? Yeah, but it was much more awkward because she was like trying to tell me without telling me what was going on. And I was just, I had to abide by like, I can't give you that information. But. This motherfucker has eyes everywhere. If I show it to you, I might get made. <gasps> what? Are you Excuse me. What? <laughs> DC's on the line. Briefing. That's important. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Why did he drop by there? Why is he there? That's an excellent question. What are you doing here? 
Yeah, girl. I ask you the same thing, but apparently the answer is anti-terrorism. <laughs> Prime, I came here for a drink. My studio space is down the street, and this place does a classic martini. That sounds all too convenient, you know? So this guy fixes cars, and he's an artiste? Yeah, but he's everything. He sounds like the perfect guy to have an affair with. Sorry. <laughs> Is there something we should go talk no, about? No, my God, no, that's not what I'm saying. I bet he thinks we're hookers. What? I love her. I can't help my love for her. She also wears Crocs. Did you see it? Huh? You have received a collect call from Eden Falls Police Station. Caller's name is oh. Natalie. Will you oh, shit. Have you seen him yet? No, but I think I know where he works. Go home, Nat. What is there? What did Travis do? Because they're like shaking in her boots by the sound of his name. I'm having all your connections if you can't use them. If I pull strings to get you out of jail, how do you think that's going to look? I don't know. <laughs> Just like, don't really care, girl. Hook me up. I mean, I do have to say, staying near the lake is probably a smart idea because of all the places around them, the place where people are most likely to show up and do things would be around the lake, I think. That's true. I think so, too. But I also feel like this is the spot where a lot of animals would come by. Well, yes, that's you know? also true. Look. Okay, if you saw a light, what would you think it is? Do you think you would go explore it? Probably. I mean, it definitely looked like it was being done intentionally. <gasps> it's a house. Guys, it's here. Oh God, there better be like reception or a, or a phone. You know what? The Necronomicon is gonna be here. Oh my They're God. They're gonna awake the evil dead. <laughs> you guys check the pantry. See if there's any food. It is weird that Everyone else look around for stuff we can use. This appears like it was abandoned a long time ago by somebody who didn't intend to leave for a long time. Yeah. Like there's still a plate out on the table with old food and hmm. Look at the expiration date, girl. Food. Oh yeah. Canned food for the most part doesn't expire. Okay. As long as it's not like bulging or anything. <gasps> You want to say that again? See, this is why we should have stayed. Do you want to school me again? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. When we get stranded out in the middle of nowhere, I'm going to let you do, <sighs> do all the decision making. No, I'm not the best one here. Oh, girl. Does poison ivy go away or do you well, have to treat it? it? It won't go away eventually. It's a skin infection related to like the poison ivy releases a toxin yeah um but itching it does not make it better but hey at least there's porn <gasps> <laughs> i'm not kidding Look. Look. this is big bodacious wow <laughs> <laughs> no spit it out <clears throat> what is it Let go. chewing gum i don't know what was it dick javi <laughs> All right, he's the whole reason we're in this hell, and now he's dead. Don't you understand? Oh no, he's dead. Boy, let him grieve in his own time. Who do you have to call? Your bird? Oh. <laughs> Caligula hasn't learned how to use the phone yet. Freeing <laughs> about it, I go where the road takes me. I don't ask why or where. I just let go. Sounds good. Pretend <laughs> to be. So we must be careful in what we pretend to be. And I asked myself about the present. That's some shit my like angsty teenager would say. You know what I just thought? Wild question. What if like this guy is like the the younger brother? Javi. Mm -hmm. I, and this is he's grown up because they probably wouldn't know how he like grew up to be. Hmm. Maybe he's befriending her for a certain reason. Maybe out there, way out there, probably not true. What do you see, girl? What do you see? <gasps> oh no! It could be innocent. It could be something innocent. 
Did they come to a hotel to meet? I don't know. Maybe he's very, you know, customer service friendly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't ask where or why. I just go. He just seems, it's just too convenient. Yeah. That he's around here. Oh, just someone I thought was a friend and turned out I was right. Uh. Okay, Kevin Tan. Kevin? Oh. Him. And because he's a cop and because he's been texting back and forth and, oh, well, fine. He thinks I'm you. <laughs> <gasps> Misty! Put that in there in the bar. So I thought, what the heck? Let's see what can happen for these crazy kids. And I was totally- Unhinged. Unhinged. Chaotic evil is what Miss T is. Uh -huh. I've just been trying to channel you, so I've been being dark and deadpan. Yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really scared. You should have come for us by now, right? What if they're never going to? I mean, realistically, I feel like it would take some time. I mean, I would think that they would have, like, helicopters around where it went down, right? Yeah. Because I'm wondering how it is going on the opposite end. Like, they're probably now starting to get worried because they haven't heard back from any of them yeah. when they landed. Where is just behind us, okay? Not yet. You still didn't admit to her that you were fucking her boyfriend. <laughs> oh, God. That would make me start to freak out, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck! Yeah. Oh, go, 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 go. Fuck you! Fuck you! God mm. damn it! What the fuck do you want? What the get the? Oh! Let's see. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Kind of making me uncomfortable. Yeah. I mean, stay away. Who? That man with no eyes. <gasps> Don't let him take me. What the fuck? She saw it too. <laughs> oh, Thais is traumatized. All of this definitely did not help. But you hurt that boy today. And when people do bad things, they should get punished, don't you think? Yes. Like that line right there is gonna uh -huh. come back around somehow instance another move like that and your daughter's face is above the fold of every newspaper in the tri-state area damn girl don't fuck with me phil oh she has me shivering in my boots uh -huh. i'm literally like you do not want to mess with taisa Damn, girl. Well, at least let us see him take his shirt off. What's that mean? Girl, this is suspenseful. I'm scared. What is up there? There's definitely a person. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that. <sighs> That's fucking creepy. Body. I told you. What the fuck are you saying? What do you see? Oh my God. Did they not explore upstairs earlier? <laughs> yeah, I think, well, I don't know. Did she just find this room? Oh 
don't think y'all are supposed to be here right now. I don't know. Why go at night? <laughs> oh God, Natalie. No, he don't. didn't. No, no. Oh my God. We have to go. Do you understand? Come on. How do police? Let's go. They're always being called on them. Like when, like who's calling on them? I wouldn't be surprised if it's Misty. Something more is going on here. Last thing Travis wrote before he died. How do you have that? That's the thing that she pocketed when I don't. But I know I'm right about this. What? Travis didn't do this. Somebody. It's the people him. who are sending the postcards to them did it. Oh my God. That's so sad. I feel I like we barely, we barely got to know Travis as an adult. All right, guys, that was episode three of Yellow Jackets. And it should be not a surprise right now. We're even more confused than we were in two or one. Um, there, a lot has happened in this one. We got definitely a more uh, Thaisa focused storyline, mm -hmm. which I really liked. Uh, we got to see more of Jasmine Savoy Brown. We got to really see her like leadership working full on in this one which could make or break it later on because it seems yeah. that she's going head to head with our captain um of the yellow jackets well and i i i i think that what we're seeing as an adult shows us that she does the stuff that needs to be done that or that she feels needs to be done yeah and i'm also like Clearly, this means someone broke into her house. It's probably the same person who her son said he sees outside the window. Which is fucked up and uh -huh. so scary. And I wonder if it's the same person who killed Travis. Like, and if there's a somebody in the background working stuff that, like, we're just going to find out has been alive this whole time. But that here's the was thing dead. that's even more scary, and I think it makes the risk factor so high is that they're not out to expose anybody. They're out to kill them. Yeah. They're out to really like make sure anybody who survived is dead. Um, so my thing is that there must have been someone who died during this accident, right? While mm -hmm. they're out in the woods, fuck them over and they thought they left them for dead. And now that person's coming back and seeking revenge. That's my idea, which is what I think is the end goal, but I don't know how we're gonna get there. And See, I don't know who. I I also think maybe it's not someone who they all think is dead. Maybe it's someone who they knew survived, but clearly they all stayed apart from each other, don't yeah. talk and all like mutually agreed to bury this so that nobody finds out. And now there's somebody who for some reason has decided that that needs to change. But we also have to think about, I also feel like the guy that Shauna is having an affair Adam. with. Adam, there's something gone going there's on. There's something going on. That's about why Adam. I feel like it's the brother. But then, like, why would the younger brother go after his older brother Travis to kill him? Well, I mean, it did. I got the sense from this episode that their father was maybe abusive. That he was at least like mistreating Just them in made, some way. Made their lives miserable. And yeah. that Travis seemed to have, you know, the cycle of trauma sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Like that. Especially being the oldest one. Yeah, that he, since he got the brunt of it, like he started to pick up on those tendencies, even though he didn't like really want to or intend to. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I don't know. There might be more there that we don't know. But God, I just want to sit down and binge this whole season. <laughs> I, I think we should because people are like, guys, make this just like a eight hour reaction video. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is, yeah, there's a lot going on. And I really, I feel honestly like heartbroken and a little like 
cheated that the fact that like Travis died because I really wanted to explore his character as an older person, well, right? We and might see get, what's like, going on. We might get some flashbacks as to like how his time with Natalie went, um, and what was she right about? Yeah, because um, clearly there was some time where she was. Because uh, I mean, I get the sense that she's been in and out of rehab a lot as an yeah. adult, and I feel like Ty is probably. Uh, paying for her rehab in a way to try to like you know do a favor for her to keep her quiet yeah, yeah, and, for sure and so I, I think at some point well while she was out of rehab she and travis must have been together mm -hmm. i still don't know what time meant when she said that that they were the worst for each other yeah i don't know what that means either i mean they most likely because it seems like he drank and she did drugs that they both really honed in on that and having them separate maybe was for the best um the thing that i hate about this show is that there's a season two so i'm guessing that we're not gonna get all the answers and we're gonna be left on a cliffhanger by the end of this uh season which is gonna suck but it works because we're absolutely gonna be watching season two yeah for sure <laughs> All right, guys, you let us know what you thought of this episode. Comment down below. Uh, remember that patrons get early access to these reactions. They're either going to be a few days or a day before it goes public. So make sure to sign up to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon. But until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? and sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.